Hello everybody, I am Frida Stauffer. I have a Kroger, a little bitty Kroger haul, and I have a Halal Market haul. So first, let me show you what I got from, my son went in and he got it for me. He got me some mango Pepsi. Not all the kids like it, some of them like it. But I wanted one and they didn't sell them in this individually. So he just got me a six pack. I got, uh, he, got, he got this cheeseburger, deluxe cheeseburger macaroni, uh, hamburger helper. The twins like that kind of food a lot. So. Uh, and there's a ultimate cheeseburger mac um, skillet meal that uh, he picked out. Uh, the boys, the twins like that food a lot. And he got a multi-pack of Velveeta, regular milk, Velveeta shell mac. So, it wasn't a really big haul at Kroger. And I told him to pick up one uh, head of cauliflower for when I make mashed potatoes. I'm gonna add those, I'm gonna add that to it. So that's it on the Kroger haul. Now I have a haul from the halal market. I got some halal chicken breast, some halal beef pastrami, and this brand is really good, this Delhi Halal. It's a really good brand, and it's very on point. This, uh, halal food has come a long way in the last uh, 20 years. When I first became Muslim, there wasn't that many brands of halal uh, lunch meat and um, deli items and uh, hot dogs and things that were very hard to find. Very, extremely hard. Now, just about every Arabic store has some kind of, or every uh, halal seller has some kind of deli meat. They have, uh, I found chicken hot dogs. I buy the chicken ones because they're the cheapest. They're $5 a pack. So I'm keeping one pack out to thaw because uh, I'm going to make the kids pigs in blankets for dinner today. Pigs in blankets and uh, some shell macaroni. That will be their part of their dinner. Um, then I got chicken breast patties. They're a bit pricey, but for, uh, it's uh, $12, $11.99 a box. And there's only six patties in a box. So that makes it about uh, $2 a patty. It's a little expensive. That's why I just buy one, about one or two a month. And I have two boxes of these chicken nuggets from the Amor. They're from the same company as the chicken patties. And that will be dinner one day for the kids. I got some lid meat or kefir cheese, two containers. I like that. It helps my stomach. And I've got some more of this uh, turkey luncheon loaf, which is basically spam. But it's made of turkey. It doesn't have pork or anything. And so I got a few of those. Um, they're not super cheap. They're three ninety nine. I went to the doctor. Yeah, she went to the doctor. So I I got those to slice and fry when we have noodle night. Me and the kids keep them in the pantry. That's a good pantry item. Um, Mohammed, could you drop these in the deep freeze, please? The kids are not feeling super well. They all had a come down with a virus, so they had doctor appointments this week. And my week has been kind of uh, crummy. I didn't really uh, feel like, I didn't feel real good myself and I had to take them to the doctor, some of them twice. <laughs> and my husband had to go to the doctor and he's been sick. So 
I haven't really uh, been in a very good place, good position for recording this week. So um, I didn't even make it to the All the Isle of Shame. So I just uh, went out today for a few things and after I took kids to the doctor and oops, my glasses need wiping. Anyway, I, I'm going to put together a video with um, some food I made this week and also with the pigs and blankets we're gonna okay, make. Okay, I'm cutting the hot dogs in half right through the package. And I'm helping. Wait a minute, come on there. So they're just cut in half. And I'm helping. Mm -hmm. They're a little bit odd. <laughs> Not completely. How do I make um, Can you see the spot? There should be a spot here, Zakia. A place here where it's pointy. See? See? Does that package have? Yes, right there where your thumb is. There it is. Do? You pull it. You uh, peel the bit of paper. You peel the paper up. up. Yes, peel it off. And then after the paper is off, then you. Put your thumbs right here where the where the crease is, the seam. What crease? The seam. See right there where it's cut together, uh, stuck together. You put your two thumbs there and give it a hard push. Well, mm -hmm. if you can. <laughs> Pop. <laughs> It's not easy. Oh, I you got it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, take one piece of hot dog for each one, for each croissant. Do I take it off? Oh. Yeah, just peel it off. Can't believe I did that by myself. I know. <laughs> now you wrap it kind of loose because when it, it bakes, the hot dog. And it's going to, well, you want the bread to be loose enough that it'll, it'll expand and not wrap too tight around the hot dog. The hot dog might expand too. Oh, are you ripping it? No, because it was trying to be like bad. It was trying to be bad. Uh, you wrap it loosely and just rip, wrap it loosely around. What do I do? Uh, grab a piece of hot dog and wrap it. See, wrap it loosely, not too tight. How? Like this? Yes. Like this? Here, let me see the piece that ripped. Mm -hmm. Let me show you how to do it if it rips. Well, here, this. Um, the ones from Aldi do rip a little bit more. So I would just wrap this around however it can wrap. Because it's going to be yummy and crispy when it's baked. And I'm just gonna close it around like that. That'll be all right. What the heck is going on? Here. Try not to rip them, see? Right there is a little seam. There's a little seam and, and, and this, uh, this one has a seam too and try not to rip them apart. Because uh, the bigger and they are, the better they'll taste. If they have more bread. Huh? Yes, like that. Now, loosely roll it in there. Just loosely. So it, like this? Yeah. Don't wrap it tight. Just kind of loose. I did it! Mm hmm. Wrap it kind of loose so it has room to get expand? bigger and expand when it cooks. I just took some ice off. The package from Aldi is, it feels more like, I think it, it tears easier, but it feels more like homemade dough to me. <coughs> put them in one spot so I have space to do it. Oh yeah, let's just kind of try to. And okay. take more ice off. So she's putting that everything bagel seasoning on something. Yeah, and then half of them are not going to have any. Half of them are going to be plain and half Look of them. Look how I did a professional thing. Look. 
<laughs> okay, and we have a couple pieces of hot dog left. I'll save them for something yeah, else. They are all done, ready for the kids to eat. There are the uh, taco fillings and the taco shells for Taco Tuesday. That is a mixture of beans and corn and cheese. That is radishes and green onions. That is cucumbers and lettuce. And they're going to have rice and beans and meat also, which I'm working on now. The beans are ready. Already mixed together with with a bouillon cube, two cans of beans. One is whole pinto beans and one is refried beans. Fat free refried beans. They're all mixed together there. And the rice is ready. All steamy and ready. And it is thawing. And I put a taco seasoning in there with it. Okay, that is the filling of my burrito it has all the vegetables it has a uh, lettuce cucumber radish green onions it has uh, guacamole sour cream cheese and beef this is the whole mess <laughs> the kids have pretty much eaten and they'll probably eat more more tacos before they sleep. They've already finished one box and, and half of the other box of tacos.